I found bones. Oh, there's more. There's bones all through here. I think there's more up there too. Walk up on the other side of that tree. Yeah, my thing is, Josh, we have been out here for four times now filming this. And these are the first bones we've came across. I'd feel better if we found something more definitive, like clothing. What we need to do is find out where they were, the biggest source of bones are, and that's more than likely the area. Problem is, there's just so many freaking leaves, and this stuff is so... You can see this stuff is so soft and wet. Tell you if we could find that one bone that really tells us, yes, these could be human. The key is finding the source of where the bones originally originated from. None of these really look like what we found in, they're bigger. With six different women coming up missing in the Dayton, Ohio area, my brothers and I have began looking into these mysterious cases. 25-year-old Chelsea Coe is the latest woman to go missing. My brothers and I have traveled down to Dayton, Ohio to begin working on Chelsea's case. Despite multiple searches by law enforcement at several different locations, what happened to Chelsea Coe still remains a mystery. Since we know Chelsea's phone last pinged out near Sugar Creek Metro Park, we've decided to begin our investigation out there. Police confirm a strong person of interest in Chelsea's case, but this person is not cooperating with authorities. In July of 2018, law enforcement conducted a three-day search at Sugar Creek Metro Park. Although detectives would not say exactly what caused them to search the park, they did say digital evidence collected from the search in May on Lower Miamisburg Road brought them to Sugar Creek Metro Park. Hey, Chelsea Coe, she is a 25-year-old white female from Miamisburg, Ohio, graduate from Springboro Schools. At the time she went missing, she was right around five foot six, 150 pounds. Prior to our investigation, we reached out to Chelsea's mother to see if there have been any recent updates with her daughter's case. Hi, this is Shula Woodworth, Chelsea Coe's mother. Sometimes, you know, she was like, you know, not heard of for a little while, and then all of a sudden there she is, you know. So we didn't think much of it, and then we started to get worried. Then, you know, in August, that, I mean, there was a problem. A lot of the times had done that kind of stuff, you know, not been heard of for a while, and then all of a sudden, there she is again, you know. Not sure what kind of relationship it was, really. It was a weird one. He, uh, apparently we found out that he was supplying her with drugs, and, and then she was back on the heroin he was providing up for her. And so it was a, I don't know what kind of relationship that was, really. And I know Chelsea used to love to walk in a park. <laughs> it's like... So many pictures of her with her dog, you know, on her Facebook page. With her sitting on a park bench. The one thing she did like to do is, you know, take walks through the park. But Rocky and I both did remote spirit box sessions on Chelsea. I'm going to do spirit box session for Chelsea Co. from Miamisburg, Ohio. She's been missing for about a year now. A remote spirit box session is just a session that we do at our home base when we're unable to be on location at that time. Can you tell me, is Chelsea alive or dead? What is Chelsea's near? Ready? Take the family. Ready? Take the 
the family. According to the spirit box session, it said take a pathway to the right, and her body was hidden near a stream. Chelsea's body in a woods. And then when I asked if Chelsea was buried or not, it came across and said that she wasn't buried. Is Chelsea's body buried? <laughs> the person that hurt Chelsea, is it a male or female? What is Chelsea's near? Is Chelsea's in water? Is Chelsea's in a park? Powering off. Go down this trail here, go to the right, that would put us back towards the stream. So I think that's where we need to start. If everything's right with the spirit box, she's gonna be in between like the pathway and the stream, and there'll be like a sloped area. So I think we just go out and get started and see if we can find out what happened to Chelsea. So right now we're at Sugar Creek Metro Park, getting ready to do a search for Chelsea Cow. I think this park is like 618 acres. So it'd be like trying to find a needle in a haystack. And it is freezing cold out this morning in Ohio. I think it's in the teens. We figured if something bad happened to Chelsea out at the park, it would probably have taken place off the beaten path on one of the side trails. So we tried to look for side trails off some of the main areas. During their search, police would cover over 400 acres of the 600 acre park, leaving a large area of the park unsearched. There's a stream further back. All right, I'm gonna be running a spear box session on Chelsea Co. Can you tell me where Chelsea's body is? Chelsea, is your body in water, yes or no? Can you see the sign? Can you see the sign? Chelsea, is your body in the park? A little sketchy, but I'm gonna try it. Now my foot is soaked. It's That's what? cold water. Soaked feet and it's in the teens. Our plan for the day is to run multiple spirit box sessions north, south, east, and west of the park. We're attempting to communicate with any spirits that know what happened to Chelsea Co. from Miamisburg, Ohio. We're back at Sugar Creek Metro Park. Is this the right area? The closer we can get to where a crime was committed or something tragic took place, the stronger the connection is with the spirits. It's as if that dark energy imprints itself on that location and that's the energy my brothers and I are able to pick up on. What do we need to look for? Go. I'm telling you, once we get close to that stream, I think we'll be close. Anytime we run a spirit box session, we're looking for clear and direct responses. We ask the spirits questions and we let them direct us on where to go. Okay, Chelsea, we went down the hill. Which direction do we need to go? What do we need to look for? I can talk to him. Chelsea, is your b in this area right here? We need to keep heading down. I wonder if I'm not talking about going down, but I mean, it's just still going down, ain't it? We're going down, and you need to ask about do we need to keep going down the pathway? Because I mean, that goes down too. I mean, heck, she could be just right down there. I think we need to stay on the path. Okay. Ask, her, ask her how far she is off the path, Josh. Real quick, maybe. Chelsea, how far are you off the path? About five something. 
I said nine. Five something. Five something. I said nine. What do we need to look for? Maybe. What that say? Her dead body. Which direction do I need to go? Are you close to water? Let's go back that way. And go down that way, and then we'll run a session down there. Yeah. Ain't that sure a creek? The creek runs back out the north of the park. Oh, okay. The first location we went to was Big Woods Trail. It was definitely off the beaten path. It really felt to us that this wasn't the right area. Remember down in Eaton with Ash's case, if you're gonna find bones, it's gonna be like in this stuff right here. Chelsea, we're down by the creek now. Is your body in this area? Chelsea, what do we need to look for? Yeah, I wish we could pull up a map and see exactly where we were in the park. What show what part of the park we're in. We need to go back to the right. Well, we're way left. Yeah, we need to be Yeah. way over here. Yeah. Somehow we ended up way left. So you go on the trail and keep going right. Or just follow the stream, probably. Yeah, this stream right here is Sugar Creek. So we need to go back to the trail and keep going. Also, we ain't even on Sugar Creek. We need to go to the right. Where's this? I'd say follow this. Just head straight that way. So we weren't even close to being back far enough. Um. Yep. We you want to head to that point pretty much? Yeah. Sean, I'll let you direct us on where to go. We just need to be back in that corner. Anytime you're searching a remote rural area like a woods, it's just so much more challenging and difficult. We were pretty confident that Chelsea knew these trails very well and she would be able to direct us on the right area. Chelsea, are we in a better area? We're down at Beechwood. Chelsea, is your in this area? Chelsea, are we close to your... Which direction do we need to go, Chelsea? Chelsea, is your in the area of Beechwood? So this is putting us right, right next to the stream. My brothers and I had spent pretty much the whole first part of the day running spirit box sessions and searching around the creeks and off the trails. So we decided to head home and go over all the spirit box information and hopefully we would have some leads as to what happened to Chelsea. On the second day of our investigation, we wanted to run a spirit box session at the second entrance to the park. We knew this entrance was less frequented by guests. So it's day two, search for Chelsea Co. We decided to come to a different entrance. What I noticed is on the main entrance, there's just so many people over there. But as you can see, this parking lot here, there's nobody here. And plus, this is a pretty remote area of the park. I'm thinking out on this side of the park, you're not gonna run into too many people. So if you were gonna come out here and do something bad. Last time we were here, we kind of ran a spirit box session up around Big Woods Trail. And according to the spirits, that wasn't the right area. They were kind of leading us over to the east so today we picked this parking spot which is pretty remote and we're going to work down the trail down towards beechwood and there's a stream that runs up by the green trail up through three sisters and then up towards the lake because we got green several times we start here at beechwood take the green trail along the stream and i think we need to stay pretty close to the water and there'll be like a sloped area and just work our way up to the lake. And then maybe we'll run more spirit box sessions in this area. Because I'm thinking when we got down here to Beechwood, this was the right area. Up here towards Big Trail, this part of the park wasn't the right area. And if you remember, 
Yeah, there were so many people walking around. If you're going to kill somebody or hide a body out here, you're definitely not going to do it over here where it's highly populated. You're going to move over here to where there's less people. It's 7 o'clock in the morning. There's no cars here, and the other parking lot's packed full. This trail goes down this way a little bit, then it circles back around, and that'll put us near that small stream. If we take that stream up to Three Sisters and head up towards the lake, I think that's the area we need to be in. I mean, to me, if you're going to hide a body, this is the area of the park you're going to do it. That well, makes more sense. I mean, there ain't nobody here. According to the spirit box, you know, we need to be near the trail and the stream. I mean, those are the things that we've gotten over and over again. And then it mentioned the green trail multiple times. You know, it's been a year since Chelsea's been missing. If she has been out here in the elements, I think we need to look for clothing. We know it was summertime. So any clothing that you're going to be wearing during the summer, like shorts, uh, spandex pants, t-shirts, I hear water, don't you? Right through there. I think we better go this way. It's just crazy how we spent four, what, four or five hours out here last time, didn't find a piece of trash. And now we're in here for what, 20 minutes? And stumbling up on this. Let's go check it out. Sean, go back in that area and just check that out real good, right in through there. I'm gonna walk around, do a perimeter search. I know, just check all this out real good. Just be careful, because if somebody is back here hunting, they may have traps or something, so. I'll tell you, I haven't seen a whole bunch of trash. I'm not seeing nothing. There's a little stream right here and a trail so I mean everything fits you just gotta find where she's at but I'm almost thinking if you were gonna murder somebody you would have probably went back deeper you know tried to get them back further in the park because I still think we're a little bit too close to the entrance Let's keep following this stream down towards the lake. We're trying to communicate with any spirits that know what happened to Chelsea Co. We are out on the east side of the Sugar Creek Park. Chelsea, is this the right area? Chelsea, which direction do we need to go? Do we need to be close to the water? Chelsea, what do we need to look for? Okay, let's keep heading down the stream. Which way do we have to go? That way? I'm kind of turned around. We're going north now. We need to go north. North? Yeah. So it'll be that way, right? So we need to keep going downstream yes. or upstream. East is that way, north that way. But maybe this circles around that way a little bit. That way. Yep, following the creek. Okay. We need to find a way to get across the creek. back in there see if there's I don't see anything but I'll tell you what if you suck out here it'd be a heck of a place to stay in. 
On the second day of our search out at the park, we wanted to focus on a stream that ran from the south all the way up to the north. Our hope is to really lock down one specific area of the park. Chelsea, are we getting closer to your body? Chelsea, do we need to go back closer to the lake? What are you near? Are we going the right direction? Should we be close to the water or the trail? We're at the lake. It's over there. It's actually on the other side of the creek. It's a barrel. The main trail's like way back there. Chelsea, are we close to your... <laughs> what trail is your <laughs> off of? Was we close to it earlier? Was it off the horse trail? Was it back by the stream we was first on? It seemed like to me when she was talking to us it was more over by that um, beach area that you was talking about. Plus. Work Anytime you're running a spirit box session or you're doing a search, it's just as important to clear an area as it is to find evidence. Did you park at the Oak parking lot? Did you park at the main parking lot? What's that area we are at last time? What's that called? Beachwood? It's off to the right, way off to the right. Are you closer to Beachwood? Do we need to go back to Beachwood? Yeah, we'll take that back down. Is your body out here by this blue marker? What do we need to look for? Is your body in this area? After several days of heavy rain in the Ohio Valley, we decided to head back to the park to continue our search. It's day three out here at Sugar Creek. We think we've got it narrowed down to an area southeast side of the park. So our plan is to go down as far as we can south of the park and work the stream all the way up to Three Sisters and hopefully find something that may lead to Chelsea being out here. This whole path is flooded out. Might be a better way to cross right there. Unless you think you can get across this. Because of all the heavy rains and stuff, everything's flooded. So we're having a hard time getting back to the area we need to get back to. The last time we were down in this area, this right here was like a little trickle of water. You can see it's pretty high now. I'm just trying to look for a place to cross. I think we should work down that way and see. There's one down. Okay, let's head up over that hill. Chelsea, we're up along the green trail getting ready to go back to Beechwood. Is this the right area? 
Chelsea, which direction do we need to go? Chelsea, were you murdered? Yep. Chelsea, are we going in the right direction? Okay. Let's get back further along that stream and run another session. We've only got so much time to work on each case. Realistically, we only have so much time to work on each case and the time with Chelsea's case was running out faster and faster. Chelsea, My opinion on that program. we're down at Three Sisters. Really Are we getting closer to your body, yes or no? Chelsea, is your body out at Sugar Creek Metro Park? Okay, let's keep working down. Chelsea, we're right at where the green and orange intersects, right next to the stream. Is this the right area? Which direction do we need to go? We'll walk upstream, but I think we should spread out as much as we can. I'll take close to the water. Brock, you take about the middle, and Sean, you stay up towards the hill. I think I caught my mic on. Don't step on that wood. Testing, testing. Yeah, that's a lot better. After fixing our equipment from all the rain, my brothers and I decided to push forward in the search for Chelsea. I'll let you try it first. Holy Fortunately, I'm carrying a camera and all the audio, so if I go down. <laughs> well, we can go up and go down. So we definitely need to be down in there. So I want to go back and check in here real quick. This really sucks all the water is up this high. Sean, up in there, where Rocky's heading, looks like there's trash and stuff up in there. Make sure we hit that area real good. Are we getting close to Chelsea's body, yes or no? Chelsea, do we need to keep heading downstream? Chelsea, which direction do we need to go? This looks more like what we were in last time, doesn't it? That's the thing, 618 acres, and there's so many areas that fit what we have. At the time of Chelsea's disappearance, she was living with her boyfriend in Miamisburg, Ohio. We wanted to run a spirit box session near her boyfriend's property to rule this area out. We're attempting to communicate with any spirits that know what happened to Chelsea Coe from Miamisburg, Ohio. We know police conducted a massive search on the property, but came up empty handed with any clues as to what happened to Chelsea. We are over closer to the house on Lower Miamisburg Road where we know Chelsea was living at the time. Is Chelsea's body in this area? Chelsea, is your body at Sugar Creek Metro Park? Yes or no? Chelsea, are we close to where your body is? With no solid responses coming from this area, we decided to head back to Sugar Creek Metro Park and continue our search. Any spirits that know what happened to Chelsea Co. We're back out at Sugar Creek Metro Park. We went along the horse trail from Oaks entrance. Are you closer to the entrance? What part of the park are you closest to? Is your body off? Is your body off the horse trail? Yes or no? Do we need to go back towards Oak Entrance? Yes or no?
Are we going the right direction, yes or no? Chelsea, which entrance did you park at? Nope. Do we need to be close to the stream? Okay, let's walk the stream back. We got the, what it said, east, and then it said oak. So that's at least three or four times oak has come across. And stream, yeah, we're on the east side of oak. So maybe she's closer back towards the entrance. Chelsea, we're right next to the oak entrance and a pastor, are you close? Chelsea, are we close, yes or no? Unfortunately, without law enforcement's permission or permission from the park, my brothers and I are unable to bring in the canine team to help with the search. Following video and evidence has been turned over to the detective working Chelsea's case.